Able Then On Air is sponsored by Green Mountain Support Services, empowering people with disabilities to be home in the community. Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support comes together. Media sponsors for Able Then On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Ableton On Air include Yehad, New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, the Vermont Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, the Montpelier Sustainable Coalition, Central Vermont Habitat for Humanity. Able Den on Air has been seen in the following publications, Parkchester Times, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, and www.h.com. Ableton On Air is a member of the National Academy for Television Arts and Sciences, Boston, New England chapter. Welcome to this news special of Ableton On Air. The one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of the differently able. I'm your host, Lauren Seiler. I'm Arnie Seiler. On this news, breaking news special of Able Den on Air. Um, we would, first of all, we would like to thank our sponsors, Washington County Mental Health, Green Mountain Support Services, and many other partners, including the Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired, the Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, and many, many others. Um, let's get to our breaking news um, special of Able Den on Air. Deadly tornadoes deficit, devastate parts of Kentucky and other states. Um, this is according to CNN. Recently, Kentucky went through a horrible tornado. At least 100 people are feared deceased following a weekend tornado outbreak across eight states. The Kentucky governor said at least 64 are known deceased. This is according to the um, CNN. Um, you know, uh, of course, we can pop up the CNN article. Um, following a tornado outbreak across eight states, the Kentucky governor said at least 64 are known dead in his state, and at least 50 tornado reports from late Friday, late um, this past Friday and Saturday in Arkansas, Illinois, Indiana. Kentucky, Mississippi, Mississippi, Missouri, Ohio, Tennessee, uh, and Tennessee, according to the Storm Prediction Center. Um, you can go on www.cnn.com and click to see how you can help the victims of the storms. Um, so, you know, obviously you can call the American Red Cross and other agencies, including FEMA, uh, to um, to help. You can make donations to the Red Cross by calling 800-733-2767 or go to redcross.org and we can donate. Okay, can you repeat that number one more time, please? The number is 800-733-2767. So or if you want to help out the, uh, the victims of the uh, the of the um, Kentucky um, uh, disaster, you can go call 1-800-733. Go ahead. 2767. That number again is 800-733-733-2767 or go to www.redcross.org. Donations. Okay, and FEMA provides 30,000 meals and opens 14 shelters 
for tornado victims. Yes. The Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, provided an update Monday outlining his, its efforts to assist in the wake of the deadly tornadoes over the weekend, including opening 11 shelters in Kentucky and three in Tennessee. FEMA Administrator Diane Criswell of Homeland Security and Secretary Alejandro um, uh, uh, Maycorcus are headed to Kentucky on Monday morning uh, to tour the damaged areas and meet with Governor um, Andy Bez here. Yes. Bez here. here. Mm -hmm. um, on behalf of everyone, according to CNN, FEMA stated, on behalf of everyone in FEMA, our hearts and prayers and all our families and lives who have been impacted by this devastating storms, uh, according to Criswell, said in a statement, this operation remains life-saving and life-sustaining mission. Our support to Kentucky will align with their resources and requests um, they are given to responders anything they need at this time. FEMA has also stood up and given um, 52 generators and provide 30,000 meals and 45,000 liters of water, cots, blankets, um, infant, infant toddler, toddler kits, and medical equipment and supplies as part of the efforts the agency set. So um, we are able to understand with uh, the Kentucky effort with the American Red Cross. Um, uh, now, on CNN.org, uh, on .com, sorry, there is a video, um, if you need to watch it, um, Kentucky Governor Andrew, Andy Behar speaks during the press conference. Um, after providing updates on the tornado devastation in Kentucky, efforts, um, Governor Bahar sent an emotional address to Kentuckians saying, this country is standing with you. Like the folks in Western Kentucky, um, they're not doing well today, um, he said in a, a news conference on Monday, um, last week, um, or this week. He reassured people that they're providing more updates. Now, I'm going to put the website, Red Cross. Dot org. Mm-hmm. the calling number, or make sure you can see that, see that thing, see that website. It's very devastating. Okay, so, um... Red Cross give will amount to any um, the, the next time an emergency strikes. Uh, whether you need help when your house burns or your community needs someone who needs a CPR class, contact the Red Cross by um, going to www.redcross.org. Um, uh, there's a part here where you can donate money and... Um, you know, other, other supplies. Hold on. Ay, ay. One second. Killed, wait, wait, wait. Tell me that later. No, 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 tell me that later. A, a judge, a grandma, an outdoor man. Okay, let's go back to this Kentucky thing. No, it's related to that. That's who got killed. What? And I'm sorry? A grandma got killed and a judge and an outdoors man. Where do we find that? An eyewitness news. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, they're finding more um they're finding more people. Let me see. A 
grandmother yet. Oh my God. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Um, more than uh, more than fifty people. Yeah, according to Eyewitness News, New York, um, seventy people are now deceased. Uh, Kentucky's governor said a devastating tornado touched down 227 miles um, in his state. Yep. So uh -huh. um, more people are passing away. Um, and, you know, because the, they're having a hard time finding people. So, it, um, so, so let us explain this to you. Um, there was a situation where there's uh, there was a tornado, and it also blew down a uh, candle factory in um, in Kentucky, and where a hundred people, a hundred and ten people went missing. Uh, at least seventy people are deceased from that candle uh, factory uh, situation. Yeah. Um, the FEMA organization is working to um, send food, send clothing, and other. Uh, situations in, in references. I heard, I heard some ch some chefs did some cooking in the in the, in the mm -hmm. they, they 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 cooked up some food for them. Yeah. Um. Let's 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 do the wait. Hold on. Oh, Biden also approves, according to two days ago, and FEMA. Biden, Joseph R. Biden Jr., president, approves emergency declaration for Kentucky. Uh, according December 11th, uh, 2021. In Washington, D.C., FEMA announced the federal disaster assistance has been made available to the Commonwealth of Kentucky and supplement state and local recovery efforts and Areas affected by severe storm, uh, straight line winds, flooding, and tornadoes beginning December 10th and continuing. Pres the president's action authorized FEMA to coordinate all disaster relief efforts to alleviate the hardship and suffering caused by emergency and local population and provide appropriate assistance to save lives and protect uh, property, health, and safety to lessen and avert the cat catastrophe of Bre Breckenridge, uh, Breckenridge uh, Bullet, Caldwell, Fulton, Graves, Grayson, Hickman, um, and... Um, and all, all these counties. So I'm going to go over the counties that were affected by this storm in Kentucky. Um, Breckenridge, Bullet, Caldwell, Fulton, Graves, Grayson, Hickman, Hopkins, Lyon, Meade, Mullenberg, Ohio County, Shelby County, Spencer County and Warren County. I'll repeat it again. If you're listening in Kentucky, you have been affected by Mayfield, May, Kentucky. Has been yes, you have been. the The following counties have been um, uh, have been affected um, by this storm. Breckenridge County. Bullitt County, that's B-U-L-L-I-T-T -T County, Caldwell County, Fulton County, Graves County, Grayson County, Hickman County, Hop Hopkins County, Lyons, Lyon County, Meade County, Muhlenberg County, Ohio County, Shelby County, Spencer County and Warren County. 
specifically FEMA authorized to identify, mobilize, and provide at its discretion equipment and resources necessary to alleviate impacts of the emergency um, emergency protective measures, including federal assistance that will pro be provided at 75% federal funding to the Commonwealth of Kentucky. John, Bro John Broden Brogan has been named the federal uh, continuing officer of federal recovery operations effective immediately. Additional designations have been warranted by the result of damage assessments. For more information on your county and how it's been affected by this, by this severe storm, you can go to www.fema.gov, www.fema.gov. Again, I'm going to repeat the counties one last time if you need me to repeat them. Brecken Ridge County, Bullitt County, Caldwell County, Fulton County, Graves County, Grayson County, Hickman County, Hopkins County, Lyon County, L-Y-O-N, Lyon County, um, Meade County, Mullenberg County, Ohio County, Shelby County, Spencer County, and Warren County. W-A-R-R-E-N, Warren County. Okay, so this was released December 11, 2021. So um, for more information on the American Red Cross, you can go to www.redcross.org and www.fema.gov uh, for more information on podcasts, uh, uh, female organization or anything relating to the Kentucky uh, um, uh, disaster. Um, um, we would like to thank um, um, well, uh, we would like to thank and pray we would actually like to thank first responders for uh, going to uh, if anybody from Vermont has gone to uh, help the people in Kentucky, we thank you. And um, uh, anything you want to say before we end? Yeah, I want to say that I, 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 my heart goes out to the people of Kentucky and other states. I feel bad, you know, I will pray for them, you know, the situation, you know. If they get back on their feet, you know, and I hope people will donate, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if you are a Jewish organization, please go and help the people of Kentucky, or if you're any organization that can provide food or clothing or or wood or any or anything to rebuild a house, um, please do this. Again, those websites are www.fema.gov and www.redcross.org. Um, that's R-E-D-C-R-O-S-S dot -S org. Um, this puts an end to this edition of Able Then On Air. Thank you to our sponsors, Washington County Mental Health, Green Mountain Support Services, and many others. Um, many of the partners were able to on air. Thank you for this um, special news report of the Kentucky disaster. We pray for those that are um, getting help in, in Kentucky and we pray for the first responders. This puts an end to this edition of Able to on air. I'm Lauren Seiler. I'm Lauren Seiler. See you next time and we hope um, we hope and pray that there are not any more disasters. See you next time.
Able Then On Air is sponsored by Green Mountain Support Services, empowering people with disabilities to be home in the community. Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support comes together. Media sponsors for Able Then On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Ableton On Air include Yachad New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, the Vermont Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, the Montpelier Sustainable Coalition, Central Vermont Habitat for Humanity. Able Den on Air has been seen in the following publications. Parkchester Times, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, and www.h.com. Able Den on Air is a member of the National Academy for Television Arts and Sciences, Boston, New England, Chapter.